Well, I cut the grass yesterday afternoon. I screwed my new headphones on to my X-Cal. My Tony Eisenhower phones. I'm going to take my X-Cal today. I'm working on my tent. My tent has got some loose screws in the brackets. One of them fell out. So I'm putting, I put the screw in that I lost and tighten up the rest of them. I got to put it back in my truck in a few minutes. I got to mark it, you know, it's Saturday. Today's Friday. I'm just rearranging some stuff in this shell. I'll have to get back to you. Here's what I was trying to show you yesterday. Yesterday, <clears throat> while I was in the water. My hand was perpendicular. It's not up and down, horizontally, it's up and down. Like people would use it for drag things out with. I use it like this occasionally to drag things out with. But what I mainly use it for is to brace my elbow. When I'm digging, pulling something out, you see my elbow pushes against that thing right there for support. It really works good right there, like that, for support for you. So you don't have to pull. I mean, it makes a lot of damn difference with that thing right there on your elbow. You should give it a try when you get old like me. You need things like that to help us. Okay, that's all until we get to the beach. Hot goose. Got the Excalibur. I'm bringing my big styloscope scoop today with the big holes. I'm tired of seeing all them little rocks that get hung up in that little scoop. If I lose a little piece of lead or a stud or something like that, I ain't going to worry about it. It'll sift faster. I can cover more time. Less aggravation. If I was in the other spot of the bay with lots of 22s and things like that, it'd be okay. But there's not much here but gray matter and pennies and gold and silver. Things we like. Stand by. On the beach, I seen the main, the real, the real guru. He was about uh, three blocks from my entrance way. But he's not in the right spot. And I got a sneaking suspicion that he'll be behind me in a few minutes. Nobody knows about all this stuff yet, except you guys. And the Mumbles Man and Mr. Eddie. Water's, water's really brown looking today. I don't know where that came from. It's like lake water. River water. Taquito. Good gracious. See what the first target is. Loud. We got no numbers, just sound. Penny sound. Quarter sound. We got it, whatever it is. I see nothing, unless it's a piece of lid. I got a rock. I don't know, that's not it. Still in the hole. The rock is still We got it this time, I can hear it. A key! That's a very good sign. You know that's a good sign. When the first target you find is a key. I like it. I'm going to go out. I'm going to have to turn them down. I don't know what this is. I like the bleak. I like it. Blew my eardrums off. A quarter. My God. What a sound that makes. Holy salute. Got a nice sound here. I mean, nice sound, low. Looks 
like junk. Crap. What this is, it don't sound just right. Because it's junk, that's why it don't sound right. Sixty two, I think it says. That's why it took me five more scoops to get it. Hey, hey, what are you doing? What are you doing? Digging lead. Stand by, there's a target right here. something it don't look like I can hear it I see two things one's mud and that one's a black looking little rock come out of there you scumbag yeah I know that's not it stand by let me see if I can find it maybe it fell through There's another nickel 64 this time Might be another nickel, I don't know. We've been hot on nickels. Yep, sure is, another nickel. Damn. See what we got this time. I can't make this one out. She's wore down bad. Nice low sound. The fishing rig. Pretty soon I can open up a tackle shop. So tackle. Well, we got our first wheat penny. I can't tell today. 42 maybe. I know what that is? That's a gasket cover for an old diving mask. Held the glass in place. I had one just like it when I was 18 or 16. That's a cool ticket right there. I like it. Here comes the tsunami. Where in the hell does that come from? Look at it. It's crashing. <laughs> tsunami!
There's another one rolling in. There's another one rolling in over there. Well, the fishing mask turned out to be another fishing rig. I thought it was a piece of that mask, but it's not. But the tsunami's still coming. And the thunder. Look at that. That's where it's coming from. My buddy Eddie, as soon as the first thunder struck, he took off. He's down that way at 100 miles an hour. Got a nice sound here. Another wee penny and another couple stinkers. This sounds really good. Might be a good one. A full tab. Oh, it's sticky though. Stand by a minute. It was one of those kind of tabs. Ka! Starting to breeze up now. You can see the wind working on them tents over there. And then the wave of tsunamis coming in. Unbelievable. Look at that one. Slick calm and tsunamis. That's very strange. I wish I knew what caused that. I never seen two in a half hour one another though. Silver ticket. I got another wheat penny in the scoop. I was in the scoop with it. I don't know what it is. Pretty cool, huh?
inside. Uh -huh. Nice rocks in close. Ma'am, I'm in the trash business today. <laughs> I said, what are you doing? Huh? about the Excalibur she picks up lightning good it's thundering now but no lightning but she picks it up in the distance always has it's beautiful right through there but it's rough looking right here Yeah. <laughs> nice low town here in these rocks. Piece of wire or something. Not what I wanted. You see, we got some nice rocks here. But all the better targets seem to be out, be out in the deep. Noel's out now. Low tide Tim knocking along. I'll bring you in on this one. This is the third best sound of the day right here. Third best. Gala too. see anything. The sound's gone. That's happened to me twice today.
Stand by. I don't know what that is, but it sounds good. I don't know what this is going to be, but it's a good sound. Stand by. Well, that's number five or six wheat penny. Now, I've been here three days. I ain't found no wheat pennies. Today, I found five or six. And no nickels yesterday and a million nickels today. That's a funny place, ain't it? While we're going by here, I'll take you to this new house they're building. The one I told you with all the steel in it. Looks like a Holiday Inn going up. <laughs> They're framing around it now. Look at that. Can you believe it? I've never seen a house like that. Ever. A lot of stuff right there, you know it? God. Well, here's the roundup. That diving mass thing is a cool, cool find right there. You've seen most of this. I didn't crack that open yet. That's the regular pennies, gray matter, gold, gold, bow 14K, 925, a few quarters, six nickels, uh, 60, 59, a 62, a 64, and one, two, three, four, six wheat pennies, and regular pennies, if I already haven't been there, there's a lot of junk, look at that crap right there. I do have to crack this open, or is it this one? No, this one. That's the interesting. One. I think that's the interesting one there. No, well, both of them might be interesting. You never can tell. Okay, I got the knife gig tomorrow from nine to noon. The tide is low after three, so I should be able to get in another spin tomorrow. You saw my other buddies that were looting with me today. I only saw one gold ring from one of them, two, and three other rings from the same one, but the only, and they were tungsten and some new age junk, and a few sinkers. He did have a buffalo nickel, and a silver half a dollar. It's just been a productive little spot this week. I just hope it stays open for a little while. I got a feeling it's going to be thick with more looters tomorrow. Word travels fast in the in this business. We'll see how it goes. I'll get back to you. Anytime you want. That's not as much as the other day, but pretty close. We miss you and love you. Recall. From the other day, this is a second one of these brass doodad things I found. I sure would like to know what the heck they are. I got an identical twin to this one, whatever it is. The fella dropped off three knives this afternoon while I was out to get sharpened. I'll sharpen them tomorrow at the market. Now, let me talk about. Tony's phones for my ex gal that I use today. I hunted uh, four and a half hours today. And without a doubt, they might be the most comfortable headphones I ever had on my ears for that period of time. I knew that when I bought a pair, you know, when I had my uh, Equinox, when I bought them for that, I could tell they were really nice. But I didn't never wear them but once, or if I even wore them at all, I don't remember. I put them on and tried them, but I knew they were comfortable. So I said, when I get my x cal and put that 10-inch coil on it, I'm going to see if he'll put a plug on my on, a, on his phone for my x cal Man, a lot of that was the best move I ever made since 1998. They are the best phones I ever owned.
without any shred of imagination. If you got a shade, extra cash laying around, invest in some. You'll really like them. It's truly uh, unbelievable. And you won't know until you try them. Then you'll say, damn, Max was right. And if you don't try them, you've missed out bad. I got to charge my credit card machine. One of two credit card machines I have. God, credit card. What a thing that is. But I use them too. Everybody uses them. I don't know where the other one is. I got to find the other one. Okay. I'm headed to the pewter to do video number three. All these are on hold right now. I'm trying to keep that spot as secretive as I can before the looters get in there. But it could be closed up before they get in there. You can't never tell. That's the damn thing about the bay. It opens and closes. We just happened to catch it open the last couple of days or a week or so. I'm ranting, but that's the, way, that's the way it is sometimes. Anyway, those headphones are really nice. And my ex gal did excellent today. Okay. Good luck to everybody. I'll see you tomorrow for a knife gig. Then a spin on the bay. You talk about some cool finds now. This guy makes them right here. Underwater diving finds. Gold watches, fossils, megalodon teeth. Look at this one. Shark tooth hunting in Florida Creek for fossil megalodons. Check him out. He got some cool damn stuff this guy has, I'm telling you. Truly unbelievable, he finds. It's worth the visit, believe me.